living in the former capital city of Yangon. With more foreign investment coming into the country, it will attract more people into the city. But how Myanmar will prepare for the urbanization that come with the development of the country? Let's go find out at Myanmar Urban Development Conference 2013. At the conference, experts from various fields related to urban development share their views on how Myanmar should plan for urban development and address challenges and issues that Myanmar would face during the period of transformation into urbanization after the lack of investment in urban planning for decades. Myanmar's population is around 56 million. According to the statistics given at the conference, Three out of ten people here live in urban area. The Asian Development Bank projected that by 2050, 62.9% of the population in Myanmar will be living in urbanization, while the figure of Thailand is only around 60%. Currently, major cities such as Yangon and Mandalay have around 5 million people for the former and 1 million people for the latter. These two cities have been identified as two major growth poles. An expert from the conference, former president of the International Society of City and Regional Planners, pointed that the sole concept of urban planning should be the person, not the cars. The problem that we had in cities is that uh, they changed from uh, the scale of human scale to the scale of cars. Uh, the cities were designed for the benefit of the cars, not for the people. So, uh, what is uh, now happening uh, this is a transition in urban planning that is happening around the world is that uh, planners are returning to understand that uh, what is important is the person and not the car. So, the, uh, that uh, sole uh, uh, concept is changing the whole view of uh, urban planning. And I think that the in Myanmar that is very important because they still having the human scale within the structure of the city and you can work and move around without the need of a car. In developing major cities, Myanmar puts a focus on people-centered approach and rural development and poverty mitigation. And also our urbanization policy is for development of the cities and also aiming at the establishment of the integrated, sustainable and resilient urban network systems that I think I already mentioned in my speech. And that will also, uh, we will also emphasize on balanced development and sustainable allocation of investment and financial resources. For Myanmar, the concept of concentrated and decentralization development strategy is the two polar development concept which are Yangon and Mandalay. Myanmar will transform these two cities into national economic growth center with a spatial economic zone, ports, international airports, trading and financial hub. For the capital city, Naypyidaw will be the city of administration, transport and logistic hub. There will also be secondary regional growth center in larger cities throughout the country. Experts also suggested that Myanmar should not forget to preserve its own identity, which is the existing colonial buildings. More details will be in the next episode of Myanmar Focus Daily, Myanmar Urban Development Series. Honor with Tami Sang reporting from Yangon.